Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a Christmas countdown project which counts the time until Christmas. It's time for the best birthday party of the year, and to celebrate, here's how to make a Christmas project in Scratch where it counts down the months, days, hours, minutes, and seconds until Christmas. Let's get started. Start by going to scratch.mit.edu, create a new project, name the project Christmas Countdown, and get rid of that cap. Now, let's add a new backdrop. Click here to select a new backdrop. I'm gonna choose Winter. You might see this white border here, and it's not very nice looking. So go to Backdrops and select everything in the backdrop. And move it over a bit to the right. There we go. Now, let's create some labels. These labels will say months, days, hours, minutes, and seconds. Instead of choosing a sprite from the sprite section, we're going to have to create this sprite. Start by hovering over the blue button and choose Paint. Now select the text option and start placing the labels. I'm going to use a pure red color with the font being serif. Oh, and while we're at it, let's create a second costume for this sprite. Start by right-clicking Costume and select Duplicate. Let's make this costume say, it's Christmas for when it's Christmas. I'm using a pure blue color this time and marker. Let's let the text say it's Christmas. Finally, use this pointer tool to get rid of the labels. Let's start with our code. Start by going to the code and drag out a when green flag clicked block. Now, in motion, drag out a go to x, y block. And this time, change x to zero and y to zero. We're using a coordinate plane here, and x is the horizontal part of the plane in the y is the vertical part of the plane. So if we change the x higher, it'll go to the right. If we change it lower, it'll go to the left. Same with y. If we change it higher, it'll go up, but if we change y lower, it'll go down. If x and y are 0 and 0, then it'll stay in the center. So when you click the green flag, it should center itself. Now, let's add some magic. Start by going to control and drag out the forever loop. Let's check to make sure it's Christmas before we show this Christmas sprite. Grab an if-then-else block from Control 2. If-then-else works like this. If the condition in here is true, then this part of the code runs. Otherwise, this part of the code runs. Go to Operators and drag out an AND block. The AND block says if this condition and this condition are true, then this is true. But otherwise, it's false. And drag out two equals blocks. Now in sensing, drag out a current year block right here and right here. Change this to month and set this to 12. And change this to date and set this to 25. This asks if the current month equals 12 and the current date equals 25. If it is true, then let's set the costume to costume 2. Drag out the switch costume to costume 2 block in looks. Otherwise, let's switch the costume to costume 1 by changing it right here. Since it's not Christmas yet, it should display these labels. Now, we're going to have to add a bunch of variables for the numbers. Start by going to Variables and click Make a Variable. Label it Months. Do the same thing for days, hours, minutes, and seconds. You can also right-click My Variable here to delete it. Now, drag out Months here. Right-click it and select Large Readout. Do the rest for the other variables. Now, let's change these variables according to how much time it is until Christmas. Drag out a set days to zero block right here. Change it to months. And then, in operators, drag out a minus block. In sensing, drag out a current year block right here and change it to month. Set this to 12. Now, it should display the current months until Christmas. Let's do it for days, hours, minutes, and seconds, too. Right-click here to duplicate the block. You can also duplicate above to duplicate more blocks. Now, 
you're gonna have to change all these labels. Change them to look like this. Now, when you click the green flag, it should display the number of months, days, hours, minutes, and seconds until Christmas. Great, however, if it's Christmas, we don't want these variables to show. So go back to variables and drag out a hide variable days block right here. Duplicate it until you have five. Change it to show all the variables. Then drag it right here. However, we want the variables to show if it's not Christmas. So drag out a show variable block right here and do the same thing. Now, if it's Christmas, the variables won't show. Great, we're almost done here, but there's one final problem. Let's say the number of days was 27. With this code, it would display 24 minus 27. Wait, that equals negative three, and, and I don't think you can have a negative number of days until Christmas. That just doesn't seem right, right? The planet of math fairs, fairs, fairs. So we're gonna have to change that. This will also use an if then else block. Drag out the if then else block and place it right here. Let's check to see if days is greater than 25. Go to operators and drag out a greater than block, which looks like this. Then go to sensing and then the current year block. Change it to say date again. Now select this to be 25. If the current date is greater than 25, let's subtract months by negative one. Do a change days by one block, select it to months, and change one to negative one. However, if months equals zero too, then it'll display negative one months. It just gets even weirder. The planet of To change that, go back to control and drag an if then block. We're not using an if then else because we're not using the else condition. Go back to operators and drag out the equals block. So if months is equal to negative one, then let's set months to 11. Let's finally change the number of days too. Go to set days block. It took me some figuring out, but after some playing around, I figured out that days will equal 24 plus 30 minus the current day. So drag a plus block here and type in 24. Drag out a minus block here and type in 30. Drag out a current date block. Of course, if the current date isn't greater than 25, let's just set days to what this is. Drag these blocks out right here, then drag days into here, and then place these blocks again. We finished our code! Once you hit the green flag, everything should work properly. This is the only script in our code. It's a pretty long script, but it works! If something doesn't work right in your code, check it against this script. I will also post the project on Scratch, which you can find in the description. Note that if I make any errors, I'll also post them in the description too. Thank you for watching this video. If you like learning how to make your own scratch projects, hit that subscribe button. Watch out for my next video, be there or be MC squared. Merry Christmas and see ya.